grand one. The grand one, yes. The grand one. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us at Kayfabe Studios. I'm Toddy Wrestling. And I'm Hollywood Joe from Hollywood's World of Sports. And we're here to talk about the G1. And you have had a lot of sleepless nights, my friend. But it's been so worth it. It's been so worth it. There was, with Fight for the Fallen and Extreme Rules and the G1, there was like a four or five day span. Where evolve. I, with a, and Evolve. <laughs> and then Raw Smackdown, there was like a five day, four day period where I watched 25 hours of wrestling. Yeah. It was a lot. Yeah. A lot of good stuff. It yeah. was great. But, uh... G1. G1. We are halfway through, just about. We're one day short of halfway. Uh, it's halfway for block A, and we're one short of halfway through for block B. But it has been something. Mm -hmm. It has been, each card has had huge standouts, amazing matches. It's been just day after day of amazing wrestling. Uh, I'm going to run through the point totals real quick, uh, and then... Yeah, we can get into some other things. Uh, right for the top of A block, we've got Kenta and Okada, both undefeated with eight points. They're both 4-0. and oh. That's something. <laughs> and then we've got Evil, Lance Archer, and Tanahashi, and Ibushi all sitting at four points. And we've got Will... Osprey, Bad Luck Fale, Sonata, and Zack Sabre Jr. all with two points. What's your biggest surprise in that block? <laughs> I think the fact that Lance Archer is tied with Evil and Tanahashi and Ibushi is pretty surprising. Told you not to hate on Lance Archer. I didn't hate on him. But I you said, said he wasn't, wasn't going to win. You said he wasn't going to fare very well. Right now he only has two wins. Yeah, so but what can we beat for his first win? I get that. I get that. I understand. That that's. I was excited thing. about that. Me like, too. I love he also came out in a new gimmick. Yes. He is like badass biker guy now. Would you tell me Mad Max was kind of reminded you yes. of? He's kind of like a Mad Max character now. Uh, I'm digging it. And it's great. It's he's doing amazing stuff. He's got a new finisher. Yep. He's pulling out some new tricks. This guy, it's you can tell he was ready to. Be a singles competitor. An unleash. Yeah. He has just come out of the block looking fantastic. Yeah. So Lance Archer is a pretty big surprise. I think Zack Sabre Jr. losing three of his four is surprising. Okay. I was expecting him to do better. And then also Abushi at 50-50 right now is surprising. But it's still early on. Very. The, nobody's technically out of the tournament yet mathematically. We're... I mean, Zack Sabre Jr. and Sonata and Bad Luck Fale and Osprey all at two points will probably be mathematically out soon. If they don't get it together? Yeah. Like, we got to have the top guys losing a lot, and then they have to win. So they're basically out of the tournament, which I think is pretty interesting so early on. Yeah. But uh, Bad Luck Fale is a great spoiler. Yeah. He can spoil other people's yeah. matches really well. Yeah. And so can Zack Sabre Jr., Sonata, Bushi, Osprey. All of these guys can play spoiler very well. Those are all legitimate guys who can get yeah. a win. So it's still very interesting. But yeah, Lance Archer wrestling the way he is, coming out the block the way he is, beating Will Osprey is very surprising. Yeah. From block from Block A. That was Block A's been killing it. Yeah. And speaking of killing it, Block B we have one undefeated person so far, <laughs> and it's John Moxley. Very exciting. And then we've got at four points Ishii, Juice Robinson, Yano, and Shingo Takaji. They've been all doing great. Uh, two points, a bummer yeah. for me, is uh, we got Hiroki Goto at two points. That hurts. Naito at two points, which me. is very surprising. I think there's one more that's just a little bit more surprising. Cobb and Taichi both sitting at two. And then, the only person in the entire field to not get a win at this point, Jay White, former IWGP heavyweight champion. And United States. Yeah. And United States champion. And beater of the ace, Tanahashi, yeah. is sitting at zero points. It's very interesting. 
Yeah. Gato's I... starting to look visibly like upset when he comes <laughs> out. He's like not happy yeah. that this is happening. It's I think that's surprising. Naito at two points is surprising, but Jay White at zero <laughs> very surprising. is really surprising. Hiroki Goto's win is over Jay White, and man, did I pop. <laughs> oh, I was excited. Yeah. That was That's probably the biggest surprise that I've had of the B block. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. There is actually a bigger surprise, but for me internally, seeing Goto get to beat Jay White, oh, that was very exciting. I tell you what, I'm not surprised about. What are you not surprised that about? That my prediction right now is holding true until the end of today. Because it's early on. No this matter. Is, this is how they do it. They'll reel you in, and they'll think, and then all of a sudden, somebody wins all of the rest of their matches, <laughs> and somebody goes on a losing streak. It's classic G1. Midway through, it still says nothing. This is an update that will once again be dead in. But you know what? For now, weeks. I can say halfway through, I am correct. Sure. And in, four week, and in four weeks, I'll be wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure I said Okada could do it, and technically he's tied with one of your guys. Okay, fine, but I... Yeah. I'm, ha I'm half right, he's full right so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I look at the half glass full. Yeah. Yours is full full. Yeah, it is. Mine's half For full. For now. Mine's half full. <laughs> For now. Like I said, this all could change in three, four weeks time. It, it will change. It's It always does. And I'm going to be probably, like, sulking... In yeah. four weeks when I'm not right anymore. One of them might still be right. You never <laughs> yeah, know. I just doubt they both will be. Yeah. Um, the biggest surprise of B-Block is was definitely Naito losing to Yano. Yeah! He played spoiler. It's Yano's favorite thing. He I don't mean Jay White was kind of surprised. Shirt too. tricks. Yeah, but he was already like on... like He already had lost and he was losing. I know. And then like, Yano literally took Gato's brass knucks, punched... Jay White in the junk, and then rolled him up. It was great. Classic Yano. He did the same shenanigans. Naito, instead of trying to wrestle Yano, yeah. Naito tried to play around with Yano yep. and did, like, shirt tricks and yep. did the whole thing. Nice. And it bit him in the butt because you can't beat Yano at shenanigans. No. If you try to shenanigan, out-shenanigan Yano, Yano will out-shenanigan you. That's what worries me. Because that is his gimmick. That's what that is his thing. That's what worries me about John Moxley. Yup. John I'm Moxley a... versus Yano. I, I said it. That's one of them that I was most excited yep. for last time because I'm very curious how it'll go because Yano would be a great spoiler. Yeah, I agree. For John Moxley. I agree. He's, John, he's been taking his opponent seriously. Very when, seriously. When the opponent is serious. I'll be curious to see when he's up against Yano if we see a little him trying to be silly too. I'd also just be down with. It's also his finish is called Death Rider. Yeah. Now that is we have an we have a name for it. Yes. I wouldn't be surprised if he shows up Death Riders Yano and it's a four second match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see it. It could go either way. Yeah. But yeah, it's been a great block so far. Yeah. I've been really enjoying it. You've been watching some highlights. I've been watching all the highlights um, because I'm. I love Access TV, don't get me wrong, but this two, three weeks behind does not cut it for the G1. Yeah, once a week when it's going on three, four times a week. So if you can find highlights, watch them. You can YouTube it. They'll yeah. be on there. I would just recommend going to New Japan World. That's uh, true. And uh, getting that subscription even for a couple of months. Agreed. And seeing the whole G1, because... <laughs> I personally think it's worth it, given that I've spent so much time watching it. A lot of but, time watching it. <laughs> a lot of time watching it. But it is, it is fantastic. It's the best wrestling going on right now, as it always is, because it's the G1, and that's yeah. what the G1 does. Yeah. What's been your favorite that you've caught glimpses of? <sighs> well, I watched the full match the other day. Okay. Um, I found Moxley and Ishii, and they, I, honestly, that was, that could have gone either way. Hey, oh yeah, no, it and definitely could have. Um, opening night, Kenta versus Kota Ibushi mm -hmm. were having my two favorite matches. Yeah, Ken Kenta Ibushi was right behind that was, was hard hitting and fantastic. Right behind that was Okada Osprey. Okada Osprey was that was a thing. That's yeah. definitely up there for one of my favorites because I was so bought into Osprey being able to win this time. Yeah. Before he uh, faced him in the G1, he was 0-3 against Okada. Yeah. They're from the same faction, yep. so it's like it's an interesting dynamic when yeah. they butt heads. And they made Will Ospreay look like a million bucks. Yeah. 
he looked so capable. Yeah. He looked so prepared to be beating Okada. And I love Will Ospreay. Who oh, does? Oh, people no, don't no. like Will Ospreay. Well, I, mean, I, I get some people don't like his style because it's too much. I don't care, but, but he wants amazing. to take on everybody. He does. I mean, like first it was like him and Seth Rollins a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Now him and Orton are going back and forth mm -hmm. on Twitter. Like I, I just love the guy that he wants to go against everybody. Yeah. And he pairs up well with everybody. Yeah. He had a great match with uh, uh, Archer. Yep. He had a great match with Ibushi. Yeah. He had a great match with Okada. Yep. The he just has great matches. That's just what he does. He, yep. He's amazing, and that Okada Osprey match was something special, and mm. so was the Ibushi one. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was as good as their last. No, Wrestle Kingdom. Their um, match at Wrestle Kingdom. I awesome. think that was better, but I really like the callbacks. Yeah. In this one for it. It was hard hitting. I yeah, I very much enjoyed it. I also like I also like uh, when the other thing I like is are the tag matches like when A blocks go and you got the B block yeah, tag so, matches. So yeah, during the off nights B block will have tag teams sometimes with Young Lions, sometimes with other people from their factions. So when A block is the main event for the tournament, B block will be in tag team previews in the undercard. And, and vice versa. Yeah, and then when B Block is the mains, A Block will I just, be... I like that, though. Just it's great. It's super fun. Showcase a lot of people. And then it starts to... You already get a story starting yep. between the two yep. before they actually meet for the G1. It's exactly. great. They had a complication with somebody, so Juice and uh, Moxley actually got an early preview yeah. recently, and they brawled afterwards. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Juice bit John Moxley's face back. That's awesome. Because Mox... Bit Juice's face. Yeah. So they went that back and forth. I'm very excited for their next yeah. matchup. I think it'll be great. I uh, yeah. The the tags beforehand and they're good. It's good wrestling. You get to see the young lions too, and the young lions yeah. are always impressive. Yeah. The whole G one's great. Spe no bad speaking, heart. Of, speaking of relationships and G one, I had, I had to. I don't know why this came to my mind, but it happened this past weekend. I'm actually kind of waiting for G.O.D. to show back up in New Japan now. Oh, they'll, I'm, they will show back up, but um, outside of the G1... But do they come back the to tags, help Jay White? Probably not, but they will come back in the end. Yeah. Like, you'll start seeing the, um, the main guys at the end of the G1 again, who yeah. aren't in the G1. You'll get yeah. Young Lions, some lower faction guys, and then towards the end of the G1, they start ramping up the shows, yeah. and you'll get the legit tag team back. Yeah. Like, you'll get G.O.D. Yep. Yeah, um, it, yeah it's, I mean, I, I you'll feel, get I, some I, of the... I feel like since we're talking about New Japan... The Japan's, juniors. What, are, uh, what have been some of the you know, key points and matches for you so far? Aside from what we've already talked about, because Ishii Moxley, oh. best match of the G1 so far, in my opinion. That was, Overall, you mean, all, all the blocks? I think it's the best match. Really? In my opinion. Wow. I think it was great. I think Ishii is one of the best wrestlers in the world. Yep. I think Mox is showing why he's right up there for that. You can't really say it because he hasn't had a lot of time to show who he is again. Yeah. Now that he's unleashed. Um, I was... I really liked Evil vs. Sonata. You remember I was very excited for this match. Yeah. I really liked it. It didn't hit the way that I wanted it to. It wasn't as much fire as I was expecting. Yeah. Um, you think they were holding back? I don't think they were holding back. I just don't think that they put something together that really, like, yeah. grabbed me. It was good. Yeah. Like, it was not a bad match. Not by any means. Yeah. Like, out of 13 and a half stars... I'd give it a 10.25. Okay. Because <laughs> well, I will not... Are we going, are we, no, that's why I'm not starting a star rating here. That's why I'm making it Are we it coming out with body wrestling star ratings? No. They're yeah. probably more credible than Meltzer star out of ratings. A it's out of 13.75 stars, and it goes in thirds increments. It'll be great, and everyone will love it. No, we are not, not, that, not no. rating things. But see, you're objective, though, so, like, I... That's not true. I, lo I love Ishii oh, okay, and Goto too much. I couldn't do that. You're this. still more objective than all the dirt sheet writers out there. That's not saying... Brad Shepard, you asshole. That's not saying a ton. Just saying. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that that was amazing. I, um, the Ishi It was still, like, a really great match. I like They fist bumped afterwards because, like... Evil had been straying away from the, the faction because yeah. they're in LIJ together. Yeah. And he hasn't been fist bumping. He hasn't been, like, doing anything. But after the match, 
fist bump, we're all back. LIJ is a good cohesive unit again. I really enjoyed Osprey versus Sonata. Yeah. It was their first time um, yeah. singles as singles competitors facing each other, and it was fire. It was awesome. They were fantastic. They were so good. They're they're both so athletic. And what they can do with each other yeah. was amazing. Like, like they had so many good standoffs and counters for counters for counters for counters. Yeah, fantastic. Maybe one of the best pure wrestling matches yeah. that we saw um, in terms of pure Japan. I would, yeah. It's not a technical masterpiece, but it was like a wrestling masterpiece. Yeah. I think we hit on the other big things that I really loved. I mean, I loved Yano over Jay White. I love Yano over Naito. It's just fun. Yano's fun. Yano's just a fun just, guy. Just he's, a, a fun he's, dude. A, he's a silly little dude. Yeah. But he's hilarious and he's entertaining and I always enjoy it. Yep. Every time I get Yano with a win and yeah. get one of these, I'm, yeah. just, I'm just very happy. Yep. But yeah, so far it's just been great blocks. I, I, I think I, for, for me, um, going forward... I guess in block A, because I said Kenta versus everybody in the first episode. So did. still Kenta versus the rest of the field. But he him and went up against him and Osprey, I'm, I'm I'm really dying to see. And my Kenta match that I was saying from before is Okada. Yeah. I am dying for an Okada Kenta yeah. match, which I think that's going to determine who wins the block. Yep. I kind of hope that they leave them both undefeated until they face each other, but uh, we'll see. It'd be really cool. I think that'd be really neat. And then Block B, um, obviously Moxley versus Yano. Yep. Because I just see it's a just, lot of it's just entertainment crazy. value in that match. Yep. Uh, Mox versus Jay White. Yeah. That. Yeah. I'm still very excited for that. And then, uh, yeah, Mox Yano, and I'm I, I'm very excited for the Juice Mox rematch. Yeah. I think it'll be great. It'll be nice, hard hitting. It'll be another. Strong competitor. I think for yeah, my favorite match. I, I, I think, think given what happened though this last week, I, I think I think Ishii's the one that challenges Moxley for the title. That's what I said in the last. You video. did say that. That was my thing. You did I say that. I want Ishii. I, I wanted Ishii to win, yeah. but even though he didn't, I still it's, hope after this match, that's what they up. set that up because I want an Ishii Mox for the belt. Wrestle Wrestle Kingdom, you think? Ooh, that would be amazing. I'm assuming, I maybe he'll maybe Mox will drop before then. But I think Mox at the Tokyo Dome with a championship would on be fire. incredible. On fire. Ooh, that is. Oh boy. Oh my. <laughs> You're giving me the vapors. Um. Yeah, I'm just. It's been great. I'm very excited. There isn't a matchup I'm. I'm not excited for. I have a feeling that's, that's, that's like, the beauty of it. Like, I have a feeling in. Uh, <laughs> Three weeks or four weeks whenever we talk about this again. Um, if you we can. might have a lot of differing things going on. Oh, yeah. I, and, this and will, this forget, will be a different feel. And don't forget, people, like, the finals of the G1. It's freaking SummerSlam weekend. So we're going to be backed. We're all gonna of the back. things. Yeah, again. And it starts with all of the wrestling, and it ends with all of the wrestling. So yeah. it'll be fantastic. Yeah, take over. Yeah, take, take yeah. over G1. SummerSlam, Summer Slam, Raw and SmackDown after it's big. Yep. I think... Uh, it's an, I'll have another 20 plus hour Jesus, weekend yeah. again. <laughs> and then you don't get much of a break because... I think it's three weeks after that. You, we have... Um, NXT UK. Yep. Um, all out. Yep. Big, busy August, people. Big, busy, busy, big August. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. You excited? I'm very excited. Awesome. I hope you're excited too. Thanks for joining us here at Kayfabe Studios. I'm Toddy Wrestling. And I'm Hollywood Joe from Hollywood's World of Sports. This is where entertainment meets reality. <laughs>